take two. So, Peter, what have you picked today? Well, I picked wild plums. Now I'm picking slow. And how do you know what to pick? Well, they've got a nice little bloom on Can them. you show the camera the bloom? Yeah, we can look. It's the bloom, you see. Look, you see it's like all like a like a sort of blue and smoky. Oh, okay. Now watch, now watch. Now this look. Yes. Now shiny. Oh yes. See now the Sherbertan canton is building up in this little slow and that attracts the yeast. It's a natural yeast, the airborne spores. Why is the yeast important then? What it does is it tells us that it tells us that the sugar content is building up within the fruit, and then actually that natural yeast you you can make wines and stuff without actually adding any brewer's yeast or anything. It will mm. actually start to ferment, and produce copious amounts of alcohol, <laughs> which is of course what we want when we're making alcoholic drinks. Yes. So you've had a successful day? Yes. What else have you picked today? Um, no, black, black... Wild plums. Yes, and what else? Blackberries. Blackberries. Blackberries for the blackberry and brandy drink for Christmas. Okay. And... Pan back When will they be ready? Oh, I think maybe next week if we have a bit of good weather. Okay, brilliant. We want to see the same on these as well. See, we've got this bloom again. Look, mm -hmm. we're not going to pick it, but look, you see, we take that bloom away. Okay. This is the natural yeast. Okay. All right. So we could make plum wine if we want. Okay. Right. Cut. 